surprised and knew not what to say but he knew what God had promised he was able to perform and the power of God is all the same today when Moses made a serpent and placed it on a pole the beating ones were told to look that way and the why they were looking, Jehovah made them whole. And the power of God is just the same today. The power of God is just the same today. It doesn't matter what the people say. Whatever he has promised, he's able to perform. For the power of God is just the same today. When Joshua was commanded, the sun for him stood still. The moon, his onward course was made to stay. He won a mighty battle, for he did his father's will. For the power of God is just the same today. The power of God is just the same today. It doesn't matter what the people say. Whatever God has promised, is able to perform. For the power of God is just the same today. When Malachi the prophet was Preaching all abroad and cutting like the sickle and the skies. The people were accursed, for they were robbing God. But the power of God is just the same today. The power of God is just the same today. It doesn't matter. What the people say, whatever God has promised, is able to perform. For the power of God is just the same today. Amen. Good morning, everybody. It's our turn to sing together, and we are beginning with hymn number 608 from our CGS hymn book. You are welcome to the house of the Lord on this lovely Lord's Day. We have heard in our Sunday school this morning about the fact that um, Jesus is still performing miracles. Yeah. There is a saying that um, your miracle is on the way. Yeah. Yeah. And as I was praying this morning, I actually claimed the promise, and I want to share that with you, that that miracle that is on the way, today is the arrival date. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You're welcome, those of you that are enjoying the service with us on the internet. May the Lord bless you wherever you are as well. We are here to meet the Lord. It doesn't matter, we understood that you cannot be with us here, but we know that wherever you are, the Lord is there with you. He will bless you as well. Amen. And for those who may be um, visiting locally, and you're wondering which church is this that you are enjoying the service of. It is that of the Apostolic Faith Bexley Branch. We are located on number 13, Penhill Road, DA53EP. If you are around, you just missed the prelude from the um, choir and orchestra. We are just at the beginning. 
of that, um, in continuation of that prelude is I turn out the thing. You have not missed much. You are very welcome if you can join us to um, enjoy the service. But for now, wherever you are, we pray that the Lord will bless you. Amen. Hymn number 608, brethren, let us walk together in love and the peace of God. Let's say verses 1, 3, and 4. Verses 1, 3, and 4. After the introduction from the keyboard players. 608. do that for us today. We Amen. turn to 699. He shall reign from pole to pole with illimitable sway. He shall reign when, like a scroll, yonder heavens have passed away. Let's say verses 1 and 3. Verses 1 and 3 of 699, after the introduction. <laughs> to the hills, to 
the hills to the hills. From whence cometh my help? It cometh from the Lord. Let's take that chorus twice. I will lift my eyes to the hills. Some before prayer to be 604. 604. Blessed be the tie that binds. We're going to stand up to sing verses 1, 2, and 4. We're standing up to sing verses 1, 2, and 4. Blessed be the tie that binds. 604. Oh, 
our gracious Father and our God, we want to thank you this morning. Thank you for your wonderful love. Thank you for your care, O oh Lord God. Thank you for making us members of the wonderful family of God. Thank you for the redemptive power of the blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord God, for the power in the name and the blood of Jesus Christ. Your power heals, O oh Lord God. We thank you that by your blood you save. We thank you, dear Father, that you, it is your pleasure, it is your desire that everyone be made a child of God, yes. so that when we leave this world, we will reign with you in your kingdom. Yes. We thank you for this provision you have made thank for us. You. We give you honor and glory. Thank, thank you for this bright and wonderful day. Thank, thank you for our week that just went by. Yes. We thank you, Lord God. Many traveled, and you have brought us all back safely. Yes. Some were home, some went to work. Lord God, you have been with every one of us. Yes. Lord, that we can gather together again this morning to worship you and to receive from you again. We count it a privilege, and for which we are very grateful. Thank you, eternal Father. May your name be glorified in Jesus' name. Oh, Lord, we're looking up to you. Just like Peter cried out loud unto you when he began to look away from you and he then started sinking. We are looking up to you, Lord, this morning. As somebody contributed um, during the conference, he said, though Peter looked away from you, you never looked away from Peter. Your eyes were focused on Peter at all times. Lord, we know that even though our problems seem to be swallowing us up and we're drowning in it, your eyes are still fixed on us. And we're just crying out loud this morning, oh God, that you will rescue and deliver us. Oh Lord, please rescue us. Deliver us, oh Lord God. Just like you did for Peter, Lord, do the same for us today. Hold our hands. We want to float with you. We want to walk on waters with you. Lord God, we want to reign with you in your eternal kingdom. Help us, oh Lord God. Father in heaven, we pray this morning that maybe those that are sick, we pray that you will heal them. That maybe those that are troubled in their mind, one thing or the other, that um, is making them um, a bit weary and weary. And they're just thinking, where will my help come from? Oh, Lord God, we have sung it this morning. Our, we look up to the hills, and that is where our Lord God is. From whence our help cometh. Oh, Lord, send help. Lord, deliver today. We pray that every sin sick soul will find rest at your bosom today. That you will save so, so Lord God. And you will sanctify and baptize. Lord, we commit the preacher to your hands. We ask that, Lord, you will lay your hands upon him. We pray that you give him unction, O God. And you will back up the world with your power and authority. Let your word hit sin in our lives, O God. Let it bring righteousness out of our souls. Thank you, Lord, because we know you have done it. We just give you all honor and glory because we have prayed in Jesus' name. Amen.
the book of the prophet Ezekiel, chapter 37, verse 1 to 14. The book of the prophet Ezekiel, chapter 37, verse 1 to 14. <coughs> verse 1. The hand of the Lord was upon me, and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord, and set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones, too, and caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, there were very many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. Three, and he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord God, thou knowest. Verse four. Again, he said unto me, prophesy unto these bones, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Amen. Five. Thus says the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, Amen. and ye shall live. Amen. Six. And I will lay sinew upon you, and will bring upon flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, Amen. and put breath in you, Amen. and ye shall live, Amen. and ye shall know that I am the Lord. Amen. Seven, so I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, a shaking, and the bones came together, bone to his bone. Eight, and when I beheld, Lo, the sinews and the flesh came upon, up upon them, and the skin covered them about, but there was no breath in them. Then said he unto me, Prophesy unto the wind, prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, Thus says the Lord God, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon this slain, that they may live. Ten. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived, and stood upon, up upon their feet, an exceeding great army. Amen. Eleven. Then he said unto me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say, our bones are dried, and our hope is lost. We are cut off for our paths. 12. Therefore prophesy and say unto them, Thus says the Lord God, Behold, O my people, I will open your graves, Amen. 
and I will cause you to come up out of your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. 13. And ye shall know that I am the Lord when I have opened your graves, O my people, and brought you up out of your graves. 14. And the last. And shall put my spirit in you, and ye shall live, and I shall place you in your own land. Then shall ye know that I, the Lord, have spoken it and performed it, says the Lord. Jesus was his name, born in a manger, to his own a stranger, a man of sorrows, tears, and agony, without what condescension, bringing us redemption that in the dead of night not one faint hope in sight God gracious tender laid aside his splendor stooping to woo to win to save my soul, oh, oh, how I love him, how I adore him, my breath, my sunshine, my all in all, the great creator became. Savior and all God's fullness dwelleth in Him. Without reluctance flesh and blood, his substance. He took the form of man, revealed the hidden plan. Oh, glorious mystery, sacrifice of Calvary. And now I know he is the great I am. Oh, how I love him, how I adore him, my breath, my sunshine, my all in all, the great creator became my savior. And all God's fullness dwelleth in Him. Taken from Ezekiel chapter 37, 
Ezekiel chapter 37, I'm just going to take um, verse 7. So I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, a shaking, and the bones came together. Note this part, bone to his bone, bone to his bone, bone to his bone, bone to his bone. May God in his infinite mercy spiritually connect us today. Before the short time ahead of us, God will have us consider the power of spiritual connections. The power of spiritual connections. In the world, they seem to know better than us Christians. And in a way, we should be ashamed of ourselves. But today, God is going to reveal the tactics of the enemy, give us a strategy, and help us to deliver it to the core. Because when you know what to do, it releases Every power from God to back you up. Where we miss it is when we don't know what to do. But when you're sure of what to do and you know how to do it, you would waste no time but deliver. You see, the people in the world, they are clever, sensible. They thrive on networking. It is a bonus to the world. All you have to do Get about two or three organizations. They synergize. They create together. They rub minds together. They plan together. They strategize together. And this one will help that one, and that one helps this one, and become optimum profitable organizations. In such a way that each one is carrying the other. When you support this one, you don't know that you are supporting the other. They carry themselves to higher grounds. And you see the secret there all comes from networking. Most of the time, people like to be connected with somebody or something that has substance. Because you know when you can tap into somebody or something that has substance... It will lift you up or help you to be profitable in some way or the other. There was a time I was starting my career as an artist in the UK. And I used to see so many different artists online. And I would write them, please tell me what you do and how you do what you do. I will hardly get any reply. Some of them will manage to reply me, when did you come to the country? He said, it's not easy. Uh, Let me tell you the truth. Go and find another job first. And it was true because when I went to the job center, after qualifying as an artist um, in Nigeria, I came here, there was no artist jobs in the job center. (laughs) The man basically told me that there are no artist jobs in the UK. Did they lie to me in Nigeria? They said people in the UK like art. Where are the jobs? I was discouraged. And because I had no connections, I have to go through the long journey. God will, God will shortcut you today. Amen. For your breakthrough, you will not pass through the wilderness. Amen. You will not meander, meander, meander. You know you can meander, meander, meander. You know there are some people, you, say, say for instance, you get to London. You don't know your way around. You start holding that map. When you get to Piccadilly line, you go from Piccadilly. I, you know when you see Nigerian, you know they are from somewhere. They say, Elephant and Castle. When I get to Elephant and Castle, I will take the Bekalu. When I go to, and then you see them, then when you know you want to help them, say, don't worry, where are you going? 
So I'm going to talk to first circles, just do it and then boom, they are there. If you are not careful, they can spend the whole day. Be kalu, and then they will take that map as if the map is going to lead them to the place. May we not waste time? Oh? Amen. Those people, they will not respond. I will try. Tell me. Then all of a sudden, after passing through the long journey, God was able to position me somewhere. And then one of the same people that I was begging, applying, talking, please help me out. He now formed a group and wants me to be part of it. He called it the Plenaire Brotherhood. Five people. Say, I want you now. But when you are nobody, nobody wants you. <laughs> if I wanted to be a dodgy Christian, I would say, I don't feel like joining that group. Oh. Because when I needed you, you were not there for me. So I would say, well, in short. But I say, you know, there must be something in this thing. I would just join. May you be joined to the right people. Amen. May God give you discretion. Yes. Yes. You know, Amen. you know, you know, you know, you, oh, may we have kindred minds. Amen. Are you with me? May we speak the same language. Amen. May you understand when I cough. Amen. May you understand when I trip over. May you understand when I don't contribute in Sunday school, first week, second week, third week, to know something is not right with Banji. I don't need to open my mouth. You should be able to pick it. May we be on the same level, bone to his bone, out of that dryness. Because of the word of God, bone found his bone. May you find your bone today. May you find your proper bone today. Yes. And I'm not talking about people who just want to be connected for material things. I'm talking to people who want to be connected so that they will make the portals of glory. You can't make this journey on your own. No. I need you. You need me. Whether you like it or not. If you are going to make it, there is no soloist on the way to heaven. If you think you can run this race on your own, you are in the wrong race. And some of us have become so technical that even when we are in the deep of depth of problems, we still talk in code. Brother, help me pray about this thing. You see, that very thing is worrying me. And you see, that thing that is worrying me, it is almost going to kill me. And before it kills me, please pray with me. What is the thing? I cannot join you in that sort of prayer. Because I don't even know whether I agree with that thing. And maybe you are even planning to kill me. <laughs> God forbid. And then I will join hands with you. And we will start praying to plot my downfall. You know what I'm trying to say? Let us get to the root of things. If we are truly connected, if the blood of Christ is truly flowing, right. you know they say blood is thicker than water. Yeah. If you see your own blood, you will know them. Are you with me? When you see your own blood, let me tell you something. God help you. Those of you that fall into the trap of ethnic, uh, the Yorubas, they are too loud. The Igbos, they are too money-minded. The uh, Caribbeans, they like women too much. The English, they are too stiff, naked nose. Mouth, upper lips, stiff, lower. Do you know what the problem is? May God sanctify you. May you be of substance. Trash that whole thing aside. If they check your DNA, some of you, Chinese is in your name. Itang, where did that come from? Where did it come from? Go and check your father's father's grandfather's father's 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 father. We are all one. 
Let's not, you know, the devil is a trickster. We are out to reveal his strategies. Oh, if you, okay, what if you found out, you that are saying, these Yoruba people are too loud. What if you found out that your greater, greater grandfather was a Yoruba man? Sometimes we don't really believe that God created us all. And that we are truly brothers and sisters. If you believe it. I went to Igbo land in Nigeria for NYSC. That is when you serve the government for one year after qualifying from a higher institution. And you voluntarily serve the government. Sometimes you are paid, sometimes you are not. They give you an allowance. We call it alawi. That money is just to help you maintain your life. Some companies, they will give you top up. Some will not. I vowed, I said, if you help me to pass, I will serve in the church. I didn't know what I was saying. Because meanwhile, my school has said, we want to retain you as a lecturer. Ha! I said, I vowed, oh. So when the school came to call me for a lecture, I, I told my he head of department, I said, excuse me, sir, I want to explain something to you. Uh, you see, I, I, I vow to my God, you are, you are mad. Are you with me? Look at an opportunity opening for you. You will be paid the salary of lecturers while you are serving the government, and you vow what? And I say, ah, God help me. I almost changed my mind though. But then I remember God. You must have something for me there. Yeah. And God took me to somewhere called Abakaliki. They told me that they eat people. There. I was scared. <laughs> you are laughing. Don't be careful what you vow when you vow because you don't know where you are going. But you have to pay your vow. So I went to Abakaliki, to a church to serve with this little church for one whole year. The church is no more than this, ah, this platform, maybe extended a bit. A local church. The pastor preaches in Igbo. So... They gave me one sophisticated interpreter. As they are preaching in Igbo, the man will be dropping little, little English. You, you, you will be getting it. Because before you know what's happening, God has inspired you with the spirit of interpretation. And you can get some of the Igbo that is coming from the platform. And some that is coming from, and you join two together and you'll be blessed. May we go to places with the right mentality. You will fit in to everywhere. Yes. Take you to Portland, you will fit in. Yes. Take you to the Caribbean, you will fit in. Yes. Take you to Nigeria, you will fit in. Yes. Bring you to the UK, you will fit in. Yes. You will never be a misfit. Yes. Why? Amen. Because the same blood oh, yeah. that flows through every child of God flows through you. Oh, yeah. May we not have spiritual blockage. Yes. Lack of sanctification. Or it has dwindled and you didn't know. Yeah, yeah. And then you start picking on little things. On, I call them unnecessaries. I coined the word crapsies. This is the plural of crap. Mm, just, you know, the devil can get you worked up on nothing. May we get to a point where bone will connect with his bone. Oh, when God told that man of God, can these bones live? Right. Remember, before those bones were dry, they were actually an army. Yes. They had history. Right. May we not live in the past. Amen. Hey, some of us are living in the past. When I was in Nigeria, when I was in Zimbabwe, when I was in Jamaica, when I was in Japan, that's past. What are you now? Yeah. At this current state, yeah. how are you with God and his people? You clicked with the Nigerians. You clicked with the Zimb Zimbabweans. You clicked with Jamaicans. Can you click with the Britons? Can you click with the Bexleyites, with the Packhamites, with the Manchesterites, with the Birminghamites? Can you click with the people of God? Do you click 
with them. Or you always find yourself having a spiritual knock. You don't click. Fault finding A, B, C, D, E. It's not right. It is this. It is that. Mm -mm -mm. And it becomes your life. Your modus operandi. You operate in just... Life can't flow through you without causing a stop. Spirituality, breakthrough, cannot flow through you without having some sort of heart attack. You cannot flourish. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You, some people say, okay, I will change my destination. I'm moving from London. I don't like the Londoners. They are dodgy. I don't like people in Bexley. They are not friendly. You move to another place. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. You have just transported your heart from one place to the other. You will take that virus and spread it there. And then you will see the people again. Ah, the same people, but different faces. They don't like me here. They don't love me here. Me, 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 like a baby. They must feed me. Me, 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 me. Grow up. Amen. Grow up. Amen. Grow up. Amen. You're not saying amen. amen. Grow up. Amen. Get over all these petty, petty things that are stopping your breakthrough from coming. Yeah. The devil knows the power of connection. Yeah. The devil knows the power of agreement. So he knows, most of us, he will never attack your relationship with God. That's fine. You can pray for five hours. But stand up and relate to another human being here. Ah, after the fire, after the, after the tongues, everything, you have manifested so much spirituality. Then you come down to earth and you begin to crumble. You can't live with, in a year without having to settle squab squabbles. You can't. They, they are always calling you. Come, come. You, come. You, come. What happened? Mm. Then, when the pastor or the ministers get used to it, again, you ag again, <sighs> come on. Grow up. Amen. Amen. Get matured. Amen. With the answer class, we're starting, you know, oh, God, God bless, you know, our headquarters church. Amen. You know, this quarter with the answer class is titled Spiritual Maturity. And they start feeding these children qualities that will help them to be spiritually yeah. mature. Yeah. The one we did today was temperance. The one we did last week was knowledge. And then we had another one on forgiveness. And another one on obedience. And like that, another one on faith. And these small children, they are beginning to understand what will help them to be spiritually mature. And you can be in the church for 25 years, 30 years, 40 years, historical dry bones. You have not got no, no connection to flourish, no sinews on you, no flesh on you. You cannot stand. Every wind will carry you. Every little thing, you are off. You are there. You are here. You are nowhere. The inspiration, my mother tongue calls it a missy. You are breathed into from the most high. Yeah. No inspiration, no creativity. Where are you? May you not be a misfit. Amen. God, oh, let me, let me tell you. You see, the thing about God and us is that sometimes it's easy with the, the Lord because he is merciful, he is gracious, he is long-suffering, he is this, is that, is the other, he is the almighty God. So when we sort out with God, it's amicable. But God wants you to use the same formula he uses with you and you use with him. He wants you to use, use it with, other, with your human beings. Why is it that we enjoy forgiveness from God? Why is it that we, and, uh, sorry God, I've done it again. Have mercy on me. God, will, uh, my child, he will inspire your spirit. Mm, you breathe down. And then somebody does something. God hold the person by the neck. Yeah, that's what we do. That is what we do. And the person can't breathe. You are choking, choking, choking people spiritually. Mother Crawford, the founder of our church. Hey, 
May we read history. Amen. This woman, somebody offended her in the church. Small offense. No, they didn't offend her. She, there was even no offense. The person was wrong. Mother Crawford told her off. Mother Crawford got home, and God said that telling off was a little bit too much. <laughs> this was not the day of electricity. Yo. In the night, Mother Crawford goes with a lantern. This is not like next door, uh, Penn Hill Road. Um, you are still going to Bexley. In the night, ah, I can't sleep. Oh, she goes in the night. Where is this person that I spoke with candle, with lantern? Then she finally finds the person. Oh, sister, I'm very sorry. I think I told you off too much, something like that. I'm just saying, I don't know the details. They said to Mother Crawford goes back at night. Oh, I can rest and tell the story how he changed, da 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 da, and it's all at peace. What about you? You got to a stage whereby you can now sleep comfortably on your bed. But if they check your heart, there is so much in there that you wonder why you wake up sick. Why you have high BP? Why you are stressed? Why you are having all these diseases that were meant for the Egyptians? Look, hey, half of the problem we have, half of the physical problem we have is mental. When we don't get on with the people God put us to love, when, you know, you, know you, you, you can't say God is love. And then you, you look at human beings created in the image of God and you find blockages everywhere. Then check yourself. Check yourself. You must know the power of being spiritually connected. Sorry, this sermon is for saved people. Those of you that are not saved, you must long for this because this spiritual connection, it releases power. Let's see. Let's go to Acts. Acts chapter 2. You will see power now. You will see power. 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 May we have power in our midst. Amen. Power. Amen. Power. Amen. Power. Amen. Power. Amen. You see, <laughs> some people's dreams, some people's dreams, your dream, your dream of becoming anything, it is based on one connection. Do you believe me? Sometimes your dream, your desire to achieve anything in life, it is the next connection somewhere. It is based on a relationship, a connection somewhere. If it is like that in the secular nominal world, how much more here? Let me tell you a secret. There are people in this place you don't know that pray for you. You don't know them. They don't make an announcement of it. They don't make an advertisement of it. They are praying for you constantly. Some of them have taken their time, oh, even in other countries, to tell me. There's actually a woman, she said, look, Banji, I pray for you every day. That woman will come all the way from Nigeria. She will come and she will go and buy books. Books about the, the martyrs. Books about God's generals. Books about... Book, she, Banji, read. Banji, survive. She, she'll be feeding me, feeding me, feeding me. Who are you feeding? What is your purpose? Your own is to starve anyone from any kind of... You know, in a war, if, if you really want... You know what happened in Nigeria, Biafra war? The Western guys, that's why they find it very hard to forgive the Western guys. They block food from getting to Biafra. So because they block the food from getting to the Igbo land where they were fighting against Nigeria, those guys starve to death. And when you, when you have no food in your belly, you can't fight. How many people are you starving of graces, of blessings? And all you get occupied doing is... And you see, I don't like the way she talks. She's a sister, but you know, the way she, she, she just, she, it's what she didn't, it's what she would have, it's what she could have 
get over it. Pray about it. Grow up. Grow up. I'm saying, grow up. Enough. You will suffocate yourself from getting to heaven. This is heaven. This is heaven. We didn't come here to play. This is heaven. But why is it that we find ourselves finding? You will answer for many things. You will answer for many, many things. Things you are rationalizing here with your own sensibilities. Hey, when you say hey, then you start your excuses again. Hey, get out of that. Look at what happened to these people. Acts chapter 2 verse 1. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come. May your day of Pentecost fully come today. They were all with one accord. Hey. They have been there for 10 days. Sorting out themselves. Before they can be in one accord, the Bible will not lie. When the Bible says they were in one accord, they were truly in one accord. They could look each other eye to eye, like I'm looking at Sister Florence. My heart beats, she smiles. We not, if there's no smile, we have to settle something. Yeah. You fight for it, endeavoring to keep the spirit of unity in the bond of peace. Amen. You are determined. Amen. Because you know what? Amen. You see this church. Amen. The success of this church depends on you. Oh, yeah. Don't think you are out of this, fra- this whole thing. This, this whole thing is not actually the building. The church is you. Yeah. The church is you. Yeah. You are part of the... You see, if we all gather together here, hand in hand and join together, right? We form the church. We don't need a building. The problem comes in when I... I don't like... Don't hold me. Some people will do that. You put them in a line. I do it with my children in class. I don't want to... Hold that one. Hold this one. Are we babies? What did they do to you, Papa? What went wrong? No, what really went wrong? Honestly, let's be honest. They nailed you to the cross. No. They nailed you to the cross. No, 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 no. Because some people come up with some fantastic thing. He did it. He nailed me to the cross. Ha! Ah. And that nailing to the cross. When you meet the real man in heaven who was really nailed to the cross, you will have no case. You will have no case. May we be spiritually connected. Yeah. I want to feel you. You want to feel me. Yeah. But we need to have, you see, like that b- guy I was trying to connect with. Until I had something of substance. He didn't connect with me. Until I was able to connect on a level. Ah, he said, this guy, we can move together now. We can't force this thing. You need to big up your spiritual life. Yeah. Come to terms with what, what is your problem? Where do you get it wrong? Where, where, uh, I, I find it very hard, honestly. Look at, look at all of us. We are all sick here. Everybody is sick. If you are okay, you won't come to church. Probably God would have transported you to heaven. We are all sick. The thing that delivered me early in the gospel, I've said it before, I only came when I was 18. I read a light of hope. God told me something that saved my life in this gospel and has kept me to today. He said, God people, God's people make mistakes. Hmm. Ah! That truth, in one of those light of hopes, he has saved my life. Yes, Not the devil's people. Let me shout. God's people make mistakes. They are not angels. Don't get walked up. And because of that, you, don't, you, can't, you can't progress. You can't move. You are suffocated. You are, you, 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 something is wrong somewhere. You can't just flow. Oh, they corrected you. Take the correction. Yeah. Oh, they said what you did was not right. Go take it with good faith. Yeah. Who is perfect? Even the ministers are struggling. Yeah. The choir is struggling. The yeah. AV is struggling. Everybody is struggling. Yeah. We are all sick. Yeah. Jesus came for us. Yeah. Those people try to say, I'm whole, I'm whole. He said, I didn't come for you. Give me those ones who need me. (laughs) May God help us. You see, one of the reasons why we really need to be connected. You see, as I'm preaching now, hmm, Jesus tried to preach somewhere, but they were not spiritually connected. Unbelief was connecting all of them. 
And as powerful as Jesus is, he could not move. He, they said in the Bible, he could not do one good thing. There no miracle. Nothing could. You see the miracle he did today. He was trying to do that in one place. The spirit there could not allow him to flow. Oh. Ah! The man of God, yes. the king of kings, could not move in a place because unbelief has been, it's almost the root and foundation of that whole place was built on unbelief. He couldn't do anything. He has to go. May we not be in that case. May your blessing not miss you today. May your blessing not pass you by. You know your blessing, your blessing, your blessing. Let me tell you, your breakthrough. Your breakthrough is dependent not only on God, it's also how you deal with others. Some of you, this is not where you are supposed to be. You've gone into a shell to save your life from further attacks. You now operate in a shell, a transparent shell. Yeah. Yeah. You are more than this. But you don't, you see, if we are warriors. Amen. Ah, we are warriors. We didn't come to have parties. We are spiritual warriors. Jack Robbins of old, when he was preaching a sermon, he said, when did war begin? He said, war started when you got saved. The war was declared in heaven the day you got saved. That day, they declared war. You became a person on the hit list of the enemy. And all the enemy thinks about 24-7 is I want to bring you down. I feel it every day. I, I, I'm married. I will see one girl. Banji, wake up. You are saved. Get your head together. Oh, sorry, sorry, Lord. Help me, help me, help me. Help me. It will continue until you get to the portals of glory. But we will not follow. Amen. He, okay, even if we fall, they say, though the righteous man falls his seven times, he said, we'll rise again. Amen. You, what we don't do, you see, what we don't do is we will not quit. Quitters never win, and winners never quit. That is our motto. Today, we may be down. And I'm talking about people who are really, really being under the attack and barrage of onslaughts and the arsenal and the machinations of the enemy. Not ordinary. Oh. You remember Ephesians where it talks about we, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Yeah. What I'm saying is that, you know, you know, somebody here may be your backup and breakthrough to your answer. Yeah. But when we can't be together and we have prayer meeting and they bring up a, a, a prayer point, we can't even pray and break through on it because we are not in harmony. Okay, you are not in harmony of everybody, but you can't find one person that you can trust here. Okay, let's go to Matthew 18 to see the power. Maybe this will change your mindset. And maybe when you come to church, if you know the power in this thing, you will not even wait for the service to start. You will just grab one believer. Please, 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 let's pray, let's pray, let's pray. And then you tell the believer, you see, see, this is the problem I'm going through. Let's go to Matthew chapter 18. Matthew chapter 18, look at the secret, look at the secret, look at the secret. Matthew chapter 18, verse 18. Verily I say unto you, whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Yeah. Look at the power God has given us. Yeah. Christians. Christians. They didn't put any, they didn't put, Jesus Christ is the one talking here. He didn't put any, no, no limit, no cap, no nothing. He says here, verily, when Jesus said verily, listen again. Verily I say unto you, whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever ye shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. 19, look at him, he has to repeat it again. I say unto you, that if two of you, look at the power of agreement, the power of oneness, the spiritual connection, bone to his bone, people with kindred power, you breed power, you release the power from God. God is able to work because we are together. The power of God will fall down like it did on the day of Pentecost when they were of one accord. They were of one accord and the power fell. The power fell. You must pray to God today. I don't want to be a misfit. I want to be in this flow and I want to remain in this flow until you take me to glory. 
Again, I say unto you that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything. Amen. I'm going to repeat that. No amens. Anything. Amen. Anything. Amen. Can you imagine all the prayer requests we bring? Just two people in the church. Just two people. We're not talking about five. We're not talking about 50. We're not talking about 500. Just two people. I in agreement. Look at how the devil has robbed us. Two people in agreement. Their minds are together. The Bible is saying that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching Jesus Christ, he got really loving here. He didn't put a cap. He said touching anything. He said that they shall ask. It shall be done for them of my Father in heaven. Oh, may we not be Oh, we, you, you know, sometimes we are being robbed daily. Spiritual leaking is happening daily because of little things like this. Just two people. Now, imagine all of us agreeing. That happened before. She was about to die at the point of death. The pneumonia was dying. They'll bring water. Where is this water coming from? Everybody, the church started praying. The church got angry. The church started praying. No, she will not die. No. This is not the time when they're saying code. One of us is you. Pray for this person. They are dying. And they are almost at the point of death. How will I pray with the energy? One of us. If we are truly a body, why can't I know the person? What is the biggie? But some of you is the people that cause it. You say, don't them. But you don't know who God put the power in their mouth. Yeah. Some people, it's a gift. Some people, and they don't advertise it. And you don't let them know. I'm not saying the prayer will not be answered. But how much more? How much more? How much more when you are open and transparent and you let God move yeah. you will be shocked at what God will do yeah. it could well be that the person that you are underrating has been overrated by God yeah. and you have been over underrating that person and that person in the sight of God is this is my man that is my woman they may have no portfolio mm -hmm. don't be deceived mm -hmm. They may not have anything, but yet, that is your backup. Yeah. True. Let's see somebody who faced some serious problems and look at the backup that this person used. Now, when I'm saying this person, don't you want to know the person? Yeah. Uh, so let me finish the preaching. This person, eh? will it make sense? And I just finished the sermon. You know this person, eh? When they were... All of you will go thinking who was the person. You won't pray. Be honest. Your mind, first of all, goes, who is the person? That's a waste of time. Waste of resources. We need to focus and pray. Okay, come and see now. I won't tell you. <laughs> you see? That's what I'm talking about. Okay, let's go to Esther. Not this Esther, all of you. <laughs> Let's go to the book of Esther. Hallelujah. We are getting there. This is the final example. Esther chapter 4. Esther chapter 4. You will see what this lady did. She has been listening. She has been listening to her elders since she was young. May you listen to your elders. Amen. Young people, you think they don't understand life. Listen. Some of you cannot even be connected to your parents. Husbands cannot even be connected to their wives. Families in disorder, in disarray. You can't get one prayer breakthrough because your house is a war zone. God deliver us. Amen. Final example. Esther chapter 4. Verse 10. 
Again, Esther spoke to Hattach and gave him commandment unto Mordecai. 11. All the king's servants and the people of the king's provinces do know that whosoever, whether man or woman, shall come unto the king in the inner court who is not called there is one law of this, of his, to put him to death, except such to whom the king shall hold out the golden scepter that he may live. But I have not been called to come into the, unto the king these 30 days. 12. And they told to Mordecai Esther's words. 13. Then Mordecai commanded to answer Esther. 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 Think not with thyself that thou shalt escape in the king's house more than all the Jews. 14. For if thou altogether holdest thy peace at this time, then there shall be enlargement and deliverance arise to the Jews from another place. May God not replace you. Yeah. you, are, you we need you in this church. You are part of the success of this church. We need you in this army. We need you. Don't think you are a nobody. We need you. Look at what it says. 15. Then Esther bade them return. Mordecai, this answer. Look at the backup plan now. 16. Go! Gather together all the Jews that are present in Shushan and fast for me. Hey, she could have said, I will fast for myself. Fast for me. Look at backup. Fast for me. Not only fast for me, and neither eat nor drink. Three days. Backup breakthrough. Night or day, I also and my maidens will fast likewise, and so will I go in unto the king, which is not according to the law. And if I perish, I perish. So why are you trying to save your life? Why are you trying to hide? Why are you trying to limit yourself, going into a cocoon, going into a shell, when you are more than this? In this community of believers, you will shine. God will open your graves. All the things that cannot work will work for you. But you must come out boldly. The final, what did he say? 17. So Mordecai went his way and did how much? Ah! Oh, no, 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 no. When we decide to do half, pick and choose. Ah, that one Banji said today. The levels, let me do my own, that. And you just miss the blessing. Take everything, take all, and God will bless you.
Heavenly Father, we thank you for the word of life. As we fall down before you, confessing our sins, we ask that the Spirit of God will come down and forgive us today, connect us with you, connect us with our brothers and sisters, so that when we pray and we ask for anything in your name, you will answer. Do that for us today. Change our situation. Bless us with a special miracle. Do it for us today. Let today be the day that we have been waiting for. A day of answers. A day of solutions. A day of surprises. Do this for us and much more as we ask in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.